Eric Mwada with Mwada.com. Let's take a look at how one can expect an explosion in prices when a stock is already moving higher. So we can see AMD has done well since the last couple of breakouts here. So a nice breakout there. And again, recently another breakout after more than two weeks of rest, which is the required rest period. This is a two-year weekly chart, by the way. And again, we saw another breakout here after two weeks of rest. And of course, we issued an alert during this most recent breakout. Anyway, so here, it makes a lot of sense that the stock is trading well because we can see that the RSI on the weekly is above 69.1, which is consistent with stocks that move higher. So that's good. If you take a look at the one year daily for AMD right now, you can see that it is also above 69.1 on the daily. So as long as the daily remains above 69.1, as long as the weekly remains above 69.1, one can expect higher prices. But there's a challenging aspect here for now, and it is short term. Right now, AMD has yet to move above 69.1 on its monthly RSI. So if there's going to be a true explosion and an extended move after the nice run up, if this move is to continue, AMD does need to move above 69.1 on its monthly RSI. Otherwise, around here, it could stall. So here is where it could make a stand or actually make a statement. So maybe it makes a stand by failing to move above 69.1 or it goes into another explosive gear if it can hold and move above 69.1. On the monthly RSI that's the challenge take a look at the hourly and on the hourly you'll notice that right now the stock is finding it difficult to hold above 69.1 on the hourly so this is becoming a challenging aspect on the hourly and keep in mind this is becoming uh, more or less like a short-term sell signal because we just made a slight higher high over the last couple of trading hours and a lower low on the RSI or a lower high on the RSI at any rate that is negative divergence because we have an improvement in price highs with declining RSI strength that might set the stage for a pullback also you can draw a line connecting RSI highs recently and you can see that this is being confirmed with the rejection over the last couple of hours here so this negative divergence could be a problem couple that with the monthly rsi which for now is not above 69.1 for the stock to truly explode after a nice move any added gains will have to see the rsi recapture the level above 69.1 something it hasn't done in a couple of years in fact going back to 06 Prior to that, it was during this period here towards the end of the great run in early 2000. So if the stock is to truly explode, you need the RSI on the monthly to be above 69.1. As evidence of this, take a look at periods when the stock was trading above 69.1. This is exactly how the stock behaved with a great explosion. Again, above 69.1 here for this explosion. Those who want to hold the stock for another explosion might have to insist that the RSI on the monthly stay above 69.1 otherwise failure to hold above this suggests that now one can start expecting a pullback Eric Mwathith, Mwathith com as always good luck peace and blessings E-A-C-S Mwah.